top of the morning, everybody. When you see people, when you see people post, especially black people, when you see people post police beating up black men and, and beating up weak black people and you see the women in the background while the man getting beat up, please don't hit him. Please stop, no, he ain't do nothing and the man is getting beat up or four and five cops is jumping the man, right? When black people post that, I don't give a fuck who it is, Hassan Campbell, my son, right? You know, it ain't nothing wrong with posting it, right? But when a person keep posting the same scenario or the same situation over and over again with just different people, that's a form of psychological oppression. They're participating in psychological oppression. And this is no shot at them, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, me and my song got history. Me and my song grew up together, went to high school together. My song Campbell, you know, that's my Muslim brother, that's my comrade. We knew each other since we was little also. Same way I knew my song when we, since we was little. But I get tired of seeing people, everybody, them two, everybody. I get tired of seeing people constantly posting footage of black dudes getting beat up and jumped on, on YouTube and Instagram and Twitter. That shit is corny, man. That shit is psychological warfare. You know, it's, it's easy to post a problem and it's harder to post a solution, right? Well, I, you know, I'd rather everybody on social media post the black dudes that knock police out. Post the black dudes that beat police up, like the dude when police snatched his cell phone, he knocked the cop out and spent right off. Knocked him out in front of everybody and spent off. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't never post the oppression. You know what I'm saying? Post the, post the regression. Post the defense. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't post the, the victimization. Post the predatory mind state because, you know, what people see sometimes, a great majority of the time is what they implement. That's why when dudes back in the days would watch a karate movie and after they come out the movie theater, everybody thought they knew karate. This is why when dudes watch Menace to Society in the movie theater in the early 90s or Boys in the Hood, a lot of niggas came out the theater and emulated that shit and thought they were shooters. Because what we see, you know, we have a, a tendency to implement. Like I told y'all, there's different ways we can learn. We can learn through touch, taste, smell, hear, and see through our five senses. So when sometimes when people hear certain music and make them feel a certain way, when you, so when you see certain things, it make you feel a certain way. You know what I'm saying? When you see certain visuals or certain movies or certain video clips and stuff like that. So, you know, people got to um, be mindful of what they post, man. I, I'm not posting no black niggas getting beat up, man. I'm not posting no, 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 no black woman getting choked out. You know what I'm saying? Niggas always, that's like a per, that's like when they always constantly showing slavery movies. Who want to fuck keep, who, I don't watch slavery movies. I don't watch slavery movies. Don't get it twisted. I've seen Roots. I've seen a whole series of Roots in the 80s. I've seen Omnistad. You know what I'm saying? I've seen um, whatever other movie. But I don't watch Oprah Winfrey movies when she's always a slave and she's a submissive, a submissive, docile, weak black woman. That shit is corny. You know what I'm saying? When people constantly projecting that image. Good morning. <laughs> when people constantly projecting that image of us. I don't want to see that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see that from nobody. Especially not my comrades. You know what I'm saying? Because my answer, my answer for oppression is war. Out of war come peace. People say, oh, we can't beat them. They got the army. They got missiles. They got the military. Everybody who's in the army, the military, and the police is the same color of people that's being oppressed. What it is, is they're psychologically enslaved. We can beat the machine. 
But what it is is this, the machine has a lot of our own people defending them. Most of them soldiers, them cops and all, they're blacks, they're Latinos, they're people of color. The machine ain't a lot of people. The machine is a bunch of old men. The machine is a bunch of old elderly men with money that's living in castles somewhere. Anyway, I gotta make a move, man. I and intelligence rule over negative nonsense. We get up like sit-ups, man. I holler back on my collar crack. Warlord.